Unlock the unknown, unbox the extraordinary, travel beyond limits, solve mysteries, and grow your YouTube empire. This is Cap Monero Channel, are you ready? Subscribe now! Hey there, Metro Manila commuters stuck in traffic along Ortigas Avenue, frustrated waiting for buses and jeepneys? Relief is on the horizon. Today I'm bringing you the latest on the MRT4 project, the game changer set to transform your daily commute from Metro Manila to Rizal. Let's dive in. First up, what is MRT4 exactly? MRT4 is a 12.7 kilometer elevated railway featuring 10 stations, connecting the bustling Ediesa Ortigas area to Taytay in Rizal province. This line aims to ease traffic congestion along Ortigas Avenue and is projected to serve over 400,000 passengers daily. Funded by a $1 billion loan from the Asian Development Bank, this project underscores its importance to Metro Manila's public transportation system. But where are we now in terms of progress? Let's break it down. As of early 2025, the Department of Transportation, or DOTR, has finalized the detailed engineering design, a crucial step before construction kicks off. Groundbreaking is set for the first quarter of 2025, with construction starting in 2026. If everything goes according to plan, we'll see the MRT4 up and running by 2030. But of course, there are some hurdles to overcome. Key challenges include right-of-way acquisition, which means clearing properties along the route and coordinating with local governments to minimize disruptions. There's also the issue of budget adjustments, initially estimated at P59. 3 billion rising costs and design changes mean the budget might need to be increased. The DOTR is currently awaiting approval from the National Economic and Development Authority for this revised budget. Sounds like a lot, right? So, what does this mean for you, the daily commuter? Once operational, MRT4 will drastically cut travel times. Imagine this. A trip from Taytay to Ortigas that currently takes over an hour will be reduced to just 30 minutes. On top of that, fewer cars and buses on the road will ease traffic congestion, making your commute smoother whether you're on the train or not. Businesses along the route will benefit from increased foot traffic, and let's not forget the environmental perks. Less reliance on cars means lower carbon emissions and better air quality. Sounds like a win-win, right? In conclusion, MRT4 is poised to be one of the most significant railway projects in the Philippines. If everything goes as planned, it will be a true game-changer for commuters in Metro Manila and Rizal. But what do you think? Will MRT4 meet its 2030 completion target, or will it face delays like other railway projects? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on Philippine infrastructure projects. See you in the next video.